Welcome Aries to your new moon readings and your monthly predictions. Um, I always do my zodiac sign readings according to the moon month and there are extended readings on Patreon for anyone who wants to dive into greater detail about career, money, finances and also relationships. But my beautiful Aries, let us see what we are shown. I am seeing all those cards for you and those. Let us see what we are shown for the new moon and the coming moon month for you. Let's draw some oracle cards as well. I am seeing this one for you. And also I'm going to draw an affirmation card for you as well. So what are we shown for my beautiful Aries, please? For this new moon in Gemini and the coming moon month. You know, this moon month is totally primed for change, as in creating change, being on track. Um, it, I was um, I was recording not very long ago, um, in fact, just before starting your reading, the moon month forecast for the month. And really, it's, it's full of vitality in terms of getting yourselves on track. And the energy is really primed for you to change your world consciously, if you wish to. Obviously, you can also keep the things you do. This is really interesting. Your first card, your affirmation, I am in perfect balance. Mm. Now this is very interesting given the kind of overall energy of the month because there are some quite big pockets of energy happening. You then have Swan, Grace. You who glides across the waters of my soul, bring me your wisdom and light, help me transform into elegance and grace, inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. Aries, I feel this really is for you, just with these two cards alone giving us an indication that this is it's what it feels for me to be an important month for you. That's what's coming through. It's an important month. Yes, Queen of Fire. I think it's going to be busy, active, productive, I do feel as well. Yes, we have the Father. This is like the Emperor. This would be the equivalent of the Queen of Wands. How interesting, because he's very... He's grounded, he's earthed, he's anchored. You've got all this fire energy going on. I mean, Aries, you are after all a fire sign. But he's earthed and anchored at the same time. I think this is a month of profound, gosh, profound possibility for you. So we then have the six of fire. So this is the six of wands in a traditional pack. You then have the card of faith. The major arcana are a little bit different, to be fair, in this pack. Some of them are really similar, but others are not. Um, the card of faith, how interesting. It is actually like the card of, um, of the star of hope. Mm. Right, my beautiful Aries, integrity. And then you have the Nine of Air. This is the Nine of Swords. It's a very vibration, hi vibrational, I'm just condensing words, a high vibrational Nine of Swords. This is not a dark night of the soul night, night of swords. This is a, an inspiration, uh, a holding the higher values. Look at the colors here, my beautiful Aries. Look at the colors here of the card of the swan and the nine of swords. They are absolutely the same. It's like you are holding in this month, you are holding a position of grace. You are holding a position of um, a higher vision, the, the higher ground in something. You're holding integrity in some way, shape or form. I am in perfect balance. This is what we see here. I am in perfect balance. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like you might be called to mediate something or negotiate something. We have these two swords coming in. Um, you know, two people here. I think there may be some form of negotiation. If, if there's any form of uh, contract that you are either anticipating or moving towards, 
I, th I think you will be very successful in the way that you navigate it here. We have the stalk of new beginnings with the turtle energy here. In native traditions, the turtle always symbolizes new beginnings. This feels like the start of something solid. You know, in native traditions, the turtle, um, you know, American was in fact Turtle Island. You know, the turtle amidst the great flood, the turtle, um, you know, said to all of the animals and, and to human beings, to mankind, you know, climb on my back and I will be the land for you. There's a definitive opportunity coming through for you, Aries, this month. How interesting. The key here is navigating it with grace, with passion, but also with grace, with steadiness. I mean, you know, all that lovely Aries fire energy, sometimes, sometimes it's quite hard to keep keep yourselves in check because you kind of want to be fired up. You want to make stuff happen. Curiously enough, the energy this month is really supporting you to manifest um, in a very mindful way, to negotiate. Um, now, you could be literally even negotiating with yourself over some of your own life choices. But one way or the other, whether you are negotiating within the context of your own relationship with yourself or you are actually negotiating with external circumstances, I'm seeing the lifting of something, the changing of something, the materializing of something. Okay, that's the right word, the materializing of something for you. Mm, very, very interesting. Let me draw some more cards for you, beautiful Aries, and also some runes. In fact, I'm feeling like I want to draw some charms as well for you too. Be interesting to see in your extended readings um look at this ace of discs and then we have the card of indolence eight of cups and these are a, a very different tarot pack um this is the thoth tarot yeah ace of discs ace of discs and the card of indolence mm. i want to say aries don't sit on your laurels there's real opportunity around you this month it's very interesting. The energy is supporting you in manifesting something. But there's a kind of a gentleness around you as well. So though you're fired up and passionate, you are going to need to make choices and decisions and kind of take action too. This is very interesting. Your, your finance careers money will, will be an interesting reading to do because I do feel you are able to bring something forth here. Let's, let's draw some runes and some charms for you. So your runes. You have the rune of protection. Ooh, you have the rune of partnership. Let's move those along a little bit. And you have the rune of constraint. Uh -huh. mm. Very, very interesting Aries. Very interesting energy indeed. Okay, your Really, really clear messages are now coming through, but I will throw some charms as well into your reading just to see what else we are shown for Aries. Okay, really interesting. We have the turtle, another turtle sitting on the card of fire. We have the eye of Horus. How interesting. We have um, we have the cross. We have the card of love, the card. We have the uh, charm of love. We have the hand um, with the hole in it. This is all about creativity. And, uh, well, it's actually about abundance as well. The key with the skull, and this is like a doorway after doorway after doorway being opened for you. And best friends, we have best friends as well. This is going to be such an interesting month for you, Aries. It really, really is. I am seeing this for you as a month of major opportunity major productivity as well. I do think you're going to need to kind of balance your work play kind of, um, yeah, your work play ratio, where you spend your energy. I think you're going to see results, actually, but you also need to be meticulous with the detail. 
okay? The rune of constraint, it's like when fishermen can't go to sea, they, uh, they mend their nets. I'm seeing victory, I'm seeing success, I'm seeing productivity, I'm seeing, I'm seeing you sort of almost create a, a platform for what is yet to come. With the solstice energy, now I'm going to draw a card very specifically. Um, if you guys have checked out my moon month forecast, I did say in that moon month forecast that I would draw a card very specifically for the solstice energy, for this turning point. And my reason for doing this is because there's also a massive void of course moon period um, at that time. Um, it's actually on June the 22nd, between June the 22nd and June the 23rd. So it's still in the window, the four day window of the solstice energy. And when the moon is in a void of course position, it means that uh, she's not in any particular zodiac sign. She's moving between two signs. Um, in this instance, um, between Leo and Virgo. And this can feel quite unanchoring when the moon's energy isn't channeling through any particular sort of personality of a sign, um, but it can also feel very liberating. And I, because it's a 17 and a half hour period, it's huge. I was really curious, especially within that window of the solstice to see how that would be shown up in the cards for each of the zodiac sign readings. So I'm gonna draw a card for you actually right now we please ask for information about that particular period of time, that window of opportunity. This is your card, Persevere. Okay, perfect. So Aries, this is really giving us really, really good information. You see, I feel that this is a month of major productivity, major opportunity. I do think there's gonna be some decisions to make, maybe some contracts to be negotiated. Um, on the one hand, you're gonna feel fired up. On the other hand, you're going to need to evaluate um, with the eight of, of cups here. I'm, I'm seeing that evaluation, making choices, deciding where to invest your energy. I kind of said there could be some almost debate going on in your world between your, your sort of life work balance. You know, in a way, I'm seeing something really gather, mom gather momentum here for you. On the other hand, you know, do you... Um, you know, do you take a day off and chill out with friends or do you work? I, I do feel there's some really interesting points during your month where you need to kind of, there will be some significant evaluation points along the way. Do tune in with that moon forecast because that will actually give you the information that you need to know when, when those points of evaluation are. It will help you to know when to persevere, um, you know, and when to just get still and meditate so that you're shown what you need to see. But overall, my beautiful Aries, this is an incredibly productive month with an opportunity for you to ultimately, re I want to use the word thrive, okay? I do feel this is a really powerfully good a good month, an exceptional month for you, okay? An exceptional month of major productivity and opportunity for you, Aries. So persevere with whatever you are involved in, whatever your personal priorities are in your manifestations, persevere, okay? The energy is absolutely with you. The flow of energy may feel a little bit disruptive at times, call on your friends. Um, you will be guided, you know, with the rune of protection and the cross here. It does suggest that you will be guided with the eye of Horus. You'll be shown what you need to see in order to move forward step by step. So if anything wobbles, if anything doesn't appear to be manifesting with the turtle here sitting on the queen of fire, just get yourself still, trust, move through this month with grace and you will be shown exactly what you need to see when you need to see it. But I actually do think for you, beautiful Aries, this is an incredible month of massive potential and you will get the help you need. We have the partnership rune here. Um, Gibo, this is the rune of partnership of relationships. I mean, I think with this showing up, it'll be really interesting to do, again, your extended readings. But I am seeing an amazing month for you, beautiful Aries. So thank you so, so much for joining me. 
yes, a few hiccups, as in moments where you're going to almost think, you know, do I do this or do I do that? Or, you know, do I go out and chill out? Or do I actually persevere and carry on working? There's going to be really clear guidance shown to you every step of the way. And, and you are, gosh, you're creating some sort of a platform from which you will move forwards for the rest of the year in terms of your manifestations. So this feels exciting. I mean, there's an energy around you that's buzzing. I mean, this is going to open this, this moon month of investment, if you like, is going to be opening doorways for you um, that carry significant potential in the future. I mean, stuff you are just going to love. So whatever your priorities, get to it, persevere, but flow through any and any and everything with grace and, and the ease of flow will just come to you, my beautiful souls. Aries, thank you for joining me. It is a joy to be here reading for you. Um, and if you would like to join me for the extended readings where we'll just dive into the, the, the greater details of both relationships and also money, careers, finances. But this may well just be enough information for you. I think you already know what this is about because I don't think you're working on something brand new. You're creating a, a foundation for something that will be potentially quite big in the future. Um, it's just an amazing month for you in terms of uh, really establishing yourself in some way. So my beautiful souls, thank you so, so much for being here. I am sending you the biggest hug and love in the world. For all of you that follow my readings, um, you know, kind of week in, week out and follow my moon updates, I am so, so grateful to you for being here. Um, your support and your ongoing um, feedback for the readings and all of the different things that I do. Um, I, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you. You really are amazing. So thank you for being here and being a part of the Moon Magic family. Beautiful souls, I look forward to seeing you uh, in my next readings. And don't forget to check out the Timeless Readings playlist if you find that you have a specific question along the way that you need some support with. Um, this is a playlist full of timeless pick a card readings that answer very specific questions like, you know, what does this person think of me? Where is this going? Is it a yes or a no? These readings are there for you as a resource. They are timeless. Um, I'll put the link along with everything else that I do that may be of value to you in the description box and the pinned comments, but do check out those readings if at any time you have a specific question you wish to answer. There is probably a, a set of readings there that will help you and bring you the guidance that you need in that moment. Beautiful souls, tons and tons of love, and thank you so much as well for liking, sharing, and subscribing. It really does help to support the channel. Tons of love to you all.